here we are again with another quick little tour review here and up next is the uh, Marvel Universe um, come up pack, two pack of uh, Gambit and Mr. Sinister. I've been waiting for this thing forever. Could not find it, could not find it, could not find it. And finally I found two. I got one for me and one for my friend and he opened his up like like as soon as I handed it to him like, like it was Christmas morning and he was five. But he's like, oh man, uh, he's like, oh, and it's got a Cyclops body and and the same mold on Gambit as as the uh, X Men Origins uh, Wolverine Gambit figure, but has the neck thing. He's just going off on this thing, just like bam. And I'm like, slow down, you know, enjoy it. So, so yeah, it, it was pretty cool. It made made a couple of us happy. Um, there's the back of the packaging. There shows the two. Uh, Two mutants are kind of going at it. Shows the other guys in the line. I've already done the uh, Thanos and Adam Warlock, which was another bear to find. And then the, uh, at least for me anyway, the more common uh, um, Bullseye uh, Daredevil 2-pack, which I have actually underneath this table right now. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do that next, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, yeah, cool, cool packaging. I remember when this issue came out, there was like six covers. They made like a mural. Um, there was a... A limited edition cover that was like a thicker cover. I don't know. It was crazy. It was the 90s. What are you going to do? Um, but uh, yeah, cool packaging. Um, unfortunately, the uh, Archangel offer has expired. And so hopefully um, hopefully I get mine soon uh, that I, I had already ordered um, using some other um, stuff. And I got the comic and all that, which I don't even look at. I just got it for the figure. So hopefully that comes in soon. Um, but... Anyhow, let's open these guys up and check them out. All right, here's a what's his name, Daniel Essex and uh, Remy LeBeau, aka uh, Mr. Sinister and um, Gambit, uh, out of the packaging there. Um, come with a cool little uh, um, issue, the um, X Men there. Um, the story inside is actually um, uh, different from what was actually in the original number one. Um, this is a newer story or or something, but uh, basically the story inside tells about um, how uh, Gambit lost control of his powers and was um, like overcharging stuff and all that, and then he went to Mr. Sinister for some help. Um, the uh, Sinister figure, I guess, was based on one of the um, Colossus figures. I don't know if it was the single pack or the um, or the uh, the five pack. Um, set um, but he has a new head and has the a big cape accessory as well as um, this chest piece um, actually has his little diamond sigil um, sculpted in there then he has like the new belt and all that um, he's pretty back heavy I had to uh, angle his stand a little bit so he wouldn't uh, be uh, flip flopping all over the place um, but you know he stands up okay um, his articulation, he's basically got all the standard um, universe articulation. We'll go ahead and take his, uh, take his uh, double layered um, cape off. Um, he's got the ball jointed head, he's got the ball jointed shoulders, swivel, um, ball jointed head there, see? Swivel bicep, single point um, elbow. Um, does have a swivel hand, other, hand, other arms the same way does have the uh, ab crunch ball joint uh, thing going on there has the um, has the uh, ball joint uh, on the upper hip as well as the thigh swivel double jointed knees and then he has the um, swivel and pivot um, hip no rocker um, it's pretty cool well articulated nice sculpt good paint job really like the paint job has that nice dark blue with um, the white, the white face, which is the white face part's plastic, and then the hair is just like this deep, sinister black. And my paint looks pretty crisp. But I was kind of surprised. Um, usually, when I get to the point where I have to buy a figure, um, because I just have not seen any other ones, the one I end up getting is one with all the gloppy paint. But this one is actually really well. I mean, there's a little bit of paint on the red on the sides, but I can touch up red easily, especially when it's kind of hidden. Um, and then he just has this cape there that just it doesn't really clip on. It just kind of rests on his neck um, precariously, I might add. Um, so it 
doesn't sit exactly the way I would like to see it. I would have liked to have seen the collar itself just a little bit wider and actually fit around um, like his collarbones almost just just for the sake of it sitting a little bit lower and a little bit snugger but it looks good it has a good aesthetic it has his uh his shredded not really shredded but i guess it is shredded his shredded um cape look going on there so pretty cool and then we get to uh gambit which is actually a repack um the original figure um was identical um the only difference was on the other one. Yeah, I don't believe you had the uh, neckerchief here, which comes off and actually has like the the. Um, let's see if we can get this to where we can look at it. It's looking a lot of nice sculpted detail there on that. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you don't have to have it on there. Um, if you only had his blue um, chest area painted in, he'd look just like he did on the cover of the comic book that he came with. But this is actually just a little bit later version. Of, uh, of Gambit. He does come with a uh, fairly unremarkable um, staff. Um, just has a couple of ridges there for detail and that's really it. Which is probably about a step above um, or about equal to the DC Universe Classics Robin and Nightwing figures that came with the, uh, their little um, sticks and staff and whatever. But he's, he's a great little sculpt. I mean considering he came out of a movie line. It's a great sculpt. I'm glad they reused it. The only thing that I'm not too happy about is they still didn't articulate his wrists. So you've got a nice ball jointed head. You've got the swivel um, shoulder. You don't have a swivel bicep. You do have a swivel elbow with a single point bend, which it looks really good. It really um, looks good with the sculpt there. And then no ab crunch, but you have a twist that's located up uh, in the upper thorax there, diaphragm area. Then you have like the standard Marvel um, Marvel pseudo ball, and then you have like the swivel thigh, and then double jointed knee, and no ankle articulation, which is not too bad. I mean, for me, it's a great paint job, great sculpt, with just average. Um, actually, really compared to some of the other Marvel Universe figures, I mean, Mr. Sinister has all, all the articulation, but you know, compared to some other ones, he's it's kind of lacking in the articulation department, but he has a really good sculpt. A lot of good detail there. I don't know if you can really appreciate that, but he has a nice silver highlights on the uh, jacket um, fasteners, as well as the outline on his um, costume there. Um, and the pink is like a metallic, like a pearlescent. Great detail on the face. Got the red eyes going on there red pupils anyway. I mean he looks real comic booky, especially with the way the hair is done. really like it. It's a really cool style. I kind of wish all the Marvel Universe figures were this this style, like more of a comic book kind of style. Um, I mean yeah they're all really cool and I like all of them. Um, I think I bought almost all of them up to this point except for the, the AIM Trooper and I think I missed out on um, the first Prince Namor that actually had clothes on. And um, probably a couple other ones, probably a couple of variants too. But uh, yeah, I've got probably 80% or so of all the figures. I um, did miss out on the mail-in um, Nick Fury, which I'm kind of upset about. But Oh, well. C'est la vie. Right, Mr. LeBeau? Um, but all in all, you know the two-pack? I'd definitely give these guys uh, like a 9. Because they really could add it in the articulation for his wrists. I don't think it would have been that tough to do. I mean... If you're into modifications, you can probably pretty easily cut his hands off, put a pin in there uh, after drilling a hole in both the hand and in the uh, in the wrist, and then you have a swivel hand. But you know, um, that's not really that necessary. I'm not going to be playing with them. I'll probably put them in this pose, and that's probably it. Um, so, but other than that, that's really the only thing I can hit it on. The colors look great. The sculpts look great. Even the reused portion, the fact that he's reused and repainted awesome so I give him an I.0 give a 10 if we could have had his articulation in his ankles and his hands or wrists but yep, such as it is not bad not bad at all and if you can find one get one 9.0 for the Marvel Universe comic 2-pack Mr. Sinister and Gambit